Good morning, Kevin here and Cynthia's with me. Good morning. We're out, out on a little bit of a road trip. Yes. Visiting a couple of places. We are actually in Eartham in West Sussex and we've got a <laughs> fuel lorry down the road reversing. It's a very windy lane. Let me just show you. And that's looking towards church cottages just over there. Lovely little cottages. And Cynthia says there's crocuses out and there's daffodils out, which is lovely. Behind us, we've got the church uh, vicarage, the old vicarage. And we were saying that the, the vicarages back in the day were huge and is a very, very big property. But we're standing here with a tree <laughs> shading us from the sun because we were looking straight into the sun. But anyway, we're here particularly to have a look at St. Margaret's. And this is St. Margaret's just here. The light might be a little bit strange here, but this is it. We're very, very close to it, but we're standing on the lane. And look at this, look at the, it's got a shingled bell tower and it's a broached spire up there. But as you can see, it's a flint built church and the, huge, the walls here are huge. Let's have a look inside. Oh, around the grounds of the church. I'll get Cynthia to go in and, and open the gate for me. It's a grade one listed building and um, dating from about 1100. So as you can see, this is the, um, the west end of the church, I would imagine. This is the porch just here. We'll have a wander around the outside and then we'll have a look, see if we can get in. But look at this, isn't this wonderful? Beautiful flint work. I'm just gonna walk across the, the cemetery stepping over the graves to be respectful. Here we go, look at this. Isn't this wonderful, look at that. And look at that spire, absolutely stunning. Under a tiled roof, we've got a doorway there to the, from the south side of the church with buttresses, usual buttresses around the, these churches with a stained glass window there. Let me just show you around here. Look at the, the snow drops here. Look at this. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Beautiful snow drops. Just going to try and change the position that I'm filming from. So I'm up this way, look at this. I just wanted to show you this from this angle, but as Cynthia said, this is rather lovely from this corner, just here. Look at this, isn't that wonderful? It's a small church, as I mentioned earlier on, dating from about 1100. Um, built of flint, but you look around, it's everything's built of flint. With that bell turret up there, which I said is a broached bell um, spire. It's, it's sort of Norman period, probably um, Saxon beforehand, which is what you generally find with these little old churches. So let's have a look at this tomb here. My shadow in there, look, which is not very good. Here we are, let's have a look, see if it's in memory of Prudence, wife of John Bradshaw Philipson. So here we are from the north side. Quite a big buttress there. Um, stone and flint built. Quite a substantial buttress actually, that one. But this is, I'm hoping that we can get inside because this looks as if it could be rather a lovely church to look around. We've got stained glass windows on the whole of the side, on the north side here. So I'm just fingers crossed we can get in there. Just looking at this, I'm pretty sure 
As I was walking around, Cynthia was on about it as well, how soft the ground is. And I'm pretty sure this is what they call spagman moss. And you do see in, in certain churchyards quite a bit of this where they're covering the graves. So I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what that is. I can hear a buzzard away in the distance somewhere. So this is the church door, the entrance door. Let's have a look, see if it's open. Indeed it is. We'll go in there in a minute. Wait for Cynthia to catch me up. But as you can see, it's a stone surround to this, this uh, porch. And you've got these lovely star shapes set into the stonework here. It's rather lovely, actually. Beautiful old door. Look at this. Beautiful ironwork to it. Our friend Mark would be jealous about that. Well, we're now inside the church of St. Margaret's and we're quite astounded actually what some of the things we're seeing. Um, but let me just first of all show you this font that's by this little table. Look at the stone plinth on there. Isn't that lovely? But just here to my right hand side, just by the entrance door, we've got the three sallies going up into the tower, up into the bell tower, look at this. I'm right by this stone arch, just here by the west end door. Big, quite a solid door with a lovely looking lock there. But let's just have a wander around. But there is a memorial in here to Thomas Haley. And we're trying to look round at the minute. And this, that's the one, Cynthia spotted it, well done. And it's most of that's in Latin, but it's Thomas Haley, and I'm assuming that's his wife Marie. No, Maria. He's a, he's a child, infant, at the top. Oh yes, infant. Yes, that's right. I'm guessing the child of Maria. Yeah, absolutely. But anyway, we we'll we'll get a. Look up yeah, we will. That's absolutely spot on, Cynthia. Well done. That looks like it might be a little vestry there in the corner. But just look at these arches here. Really different to the, the arches that you see in other churches. That was edged in stone with the infill, which has been um, is probably a render with paint on it. But this, the stone pillar here is astonishing. It's really big. Look at the size of that thing. I can't get any further away. But on the floor, we've got these different um, quarry tiles. With, but that one's got rather a nice pattern there. And then the rest has got a star shape there, but they're black, red and cream. But look at these stained glass windows. They're absolutely astonishing. They're really, really lovely. But there's, we haven't got any lights here at the minute. But looking up into the roof, this camera won't pick this up very well, I don't think. But Cynthia probably will be able to with a, a phone or a, a camera. But this is the nave. But just look at this here. Look at that, that organ, the organ pipes. And the tops there, look at that. It's almost like a crown at the tops of the, the, the larger pipes and it stood again underneath one of these huge arches. There's a, a memorial plaque there to Anne Hawkins, 
1897 to 1979, church councillor and beloved wife of Leonard Hawkins, 1898 to 1996. Look at that, almost 100 years old, 98 years of age. But look at this archway here that's going from the from the nave into the um, into the uh, chancel. Rather lovely. Look at this. The chancel is rather better lit than the nave. But again, look at these timbers up in the roof. Just to my left-hand side here, before I enter the nave, uh, into the, into the arch, uh, our chancel, is the pulpit. But look at these tiles here. Aren't they wonderful? Again, look at these stained glass windows. The more you look in these little churches, the more you see. The walls in the chancel have been painted. But look at the altar. Isn't that beautiful? And it's like a, a wooden reredos behind there. And it says, praise God in, the, in his holiness. And a rather lovely stained glass window, which is set within that stone surround window. Unfortunately, the other lights have come back on. I was just about to say they're on a timer, but um, I think the, the font actually dates from about 1869, but beautifully rounded. Look at that. Again, the craftsmanship to do something like that is, is astonishing. But a lovely church. Very cold in here. But just look at the depth. This will give you an idea of the depth of the wall between the inside and the outside. Look at that. It's got to be three feet, three and a half feet. Amazing. Actually, while I'm in here, coming back towards the chancel, Something that um, Cynthia mentioned was, just look at this. That's on the um, arch going from the nave to the chancel. There's a little rabbit there. And then round on this side, if I can find it, there's a face. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Carved into the stonework. You know, just look at the sun streaming through here. Isn't that beautiful? It doesn't pick it up on the camera, unfortunately. But let me just come around this way a little bit. And it's still a beautiful light coming through there. Well, that was rather lovely going round the church of St Margaret's. And I noticed just now that the the vicarage was dated 1880. So now we're going to have a little walk back through the village, back to where our car is uh, parked. But the interesting here, there's an overspill cemetery just here, just down this little track by the by the old vicarage, there's the cemetery down through there with the beautiful views across that valley. Look at the snowdrops, yeah, Cynthia's just spotted those. Isn't that lovely? Look at these snowdrops, isn't that beautiful? Spreading out all across this churchyard, this cemetery, I mean. Look at that, astonishing, beautiful. Yeah. 
Lovely. Look at that. Stunning. This is the, the view through the valley here. Looks like a little hot field there. But Cynthia was just noticing these on top of this gate post as you go into this property. Look at that. Butterflies. And we were right, there's no entrance down here to the cemetery. You've got a couple of yew trees here. And it's actually, the cemetery is actually set within this wall, which is flint and with a brick capping. So we've just come out this little lane here and there's another shot of the church there. Never film into the sun. <laughs> Oops, but look at that. With the glow of the sun behind the church. Look at that, I love that. <clears throat> so we just have a walk away now from the church. And that one there is actually the old school cottage. Surprisingly, this little village is really busy with traffic. So we're just wandering away now along the lane. As you can see, no footpaths at all. Everywhere you look, it's all flint and wall, uh, flint, and flint walls with brick cappings. So this is heading back in towards the pub where we've parked the car. Got a house over there which has got a Union Jack flag there. <clears throat> Letterbox in the wall just here. Oh, yes, and this is the front of Great Ballard School. And if you remember, I mentioned about the, the, the people that was in the Second World War. And it's a great co educational independent school for ages. Two and a half years to 16. And here we are, look. And this has got a blue plaque up here. Earthham House, and that's the William Haley. 1745 to 1820, poet, biographer, and patron of the arts. Lived here 1774 to 1799. Is his son yep. in the church. In the church, yes, that's it. For Thomas. For Thomas. Thomas Haley, yeah. So that was worth uh, having a little bit of film about. But just opposite us now is the George, the pub called the George. And we've got a signpost there. Slindon to my right, Petworth, and Crocker Hill. Well, we've parked behind here. So this is the George, the pub. And hopefully we're gonna be able to get a cup of coffee in there. So there it is, the George. Looks like it could do with all that wisteria or something cut back, it's all over the roof. Well, that was a rather interesting little walk around the church beautiful little church i really enjoyed it but as i said it was cold in there it's cold in there um so we finished we finished in eartham eartham, eartham in west sussex yes. we are heading to he looks up at the notice board slindon next but i think an idea is to get a cup of coffee i think so that's if they're going to serve us anyway sure. yeah on a beautiful sunny day um on the 1st of February 2024, this will be Kevin and Cynthia from Eartham in West Sussex. We'll say bye-bye and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.